I think it's pretty safe to say that fragrance oils are the best bits about candle making. Today I'll be revealing the top 7 fragrance oils I use within my business. Subscribe and hit the bell if you're a budding candle maker looking to start and grow your own business. You can also follow me on Instagram at Luna London Candle. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Ashani and I'm the creator of Luna London, a home fragrance company. On this channel we talk about candle making and selling candles online. So I'm super excited to show you what my best sellers are. The supplies I use are based in the UK but I think the oils that I use are generally quite widely available like although you may not be able to get it from the sellers that I use I think in different countries you would definitely be able to find sort of like a very similar scent another thing I wanted to say is the scents that I've chosen I have carefully decided on them based on my target audience so depending on your target audience these scents may work for you or they may not just as an example I am trying to go for a more premium kind of brand um, whereas if I wanted to do something kind of similar to Bath and Body Works I'd do I'd be a lot more seasonal and fun and use those sorts of scents like you know like a waffle kind of scent and that sort of thing so I'm not doing that for my business but depending on your niche um, you know select scents accordingly so just before we dive into the scents I wanted to kind of give you a bit of a background on my brand so you kind of have an understanding of the scents that I have selected so I would say that my brand is targeted to people who are willing to spend say £27 or more on a candle and and therefore I've selected the scents accordingly. If I wanted to do something more fun, like food related, like waffles and that sort of thing, then I would have chosen different scents. Um, so just think about your niche when you are selecting your fragrance oils. Um, make sure that your fragrance oils actually like are related to your niche if you have a very specific niche. For example, if you're doing something like a garden related candle like range, um, then you can do like floral gardens and that sort of thing. Whereas maybe doing something else completely random and different may not align with your branding. So I would say keep in mind your niche when you are selecting your fragrance oils. So let's get into the fun bit. So the first fragrance oil I have is dark tobacco and honey. And I forgot to mention I try and stick with one supply for my fragrance oils and that generally is Candle Shack for me just because it makes it so much easier to kind of keep up to date with one company rather than trying to buy from everybody and like spend lots of money on shipping and that sort of thing so as much as I can I try and bulk order um, everything I need so I don't have to like buy like place millions of orders trying to buy everything. So Doug's Tobacco and Honey is the first scent that I was like absolutely fell in love with. It is such a beautiful scent and it is used in my Taurus candle. I do have an option on the website where people can like choose a zodiac sign and then any scent they want and generally most people go for dark tobacco and honey and just to talk a bit about the fragrance it's not very overpowering it is more of a subtle scent even though dark tobacco and honey you would think that would be very like strong in your face but it's actually a very mellow scent I would say um, it does have a good scent throw but I do need to use it at 10% um, to, otherwise I find anything less doesn't necessarily fill a room. I'll go ahead and stick the notes of the oil on the screen. One thing I noticed with this oil is that sometimes people may get put off by the fact that it's called that it has tobacco in it but it doesn't smell like cigarettes or anything like that. It's a very rich scent I feel like it's very sophisticated and it's not sweet or anything like that but yeah I would definitely give this a go if you are trying to target a more of a high-end like clientele. Um, apparently I think if I remember this right it's actually a dupe for a Tom Ford um, candle or Tom Ford fragrance. It definitely does have that kind of premium smell. The next one that is doing really well for me and I think will do even better for me in the summer and springtime is Blackberry and Bay and it is just like super strong. I swear to god this is like, so I've, you, I've got the cap on but even so, so you can smell it through. And it is like so, I absolutely fell in love with this over Christmas. I had bought it and started making up some candles in it. I was like, oh my god, the whole house smells of it. Um, and I hadn't even lit anything. You could just smell the oil everywhere. And it is just really beautiful and fresh. And it's got, I wouldn't say it's sweet. It's fruity, but like without that, like without any sickly like sweetness notes to it. Um, Again, I think this is a dupe for Jo Malone. Um, I try and stick away from dupes, but um, as you can see, I've already got two. Um, it is so beautiful. I think if you're looking for to make a candle with a very good cold throw and hot throw, this is definitely going to be amazing for the warmer months, I think. Um, just because, like, you know, you don't necessarily want, like, when it's really hot, you don't want something that's very, like, cosy and stuff, because I guess it's just, like, a contradiction to the actual weather. Um, so I would definitely recommend trying this out for spring, summer, and see how you go maybe buy a small bottle if you were looking to try it but it is so strong I would definitely highly recommend this scent the next scent I have is velvet peony and oud and 
to say that I'm obsessed with this at the moment is just like an understatement. I feel like I go through phases. When I first started candle making, dark tobacco and honey was like the scent for me and I I think I maybe overdid it because I like, although I really love it, I feel like I'm kind of over it now because I made up so many candles for myself in it. So that's kind of like velvet peony and oud for me right now. Like I think um, I'm in such a craze for it. I like, I have made so many candles from this oil for myself um, just because it's my absolute favorite at the moment. I'm hoping that I'm trying to kind of restrict it a little bit because I don't want to go like get over it but that basically this is a beautiful intense fragrance oil with a very smoky edge because of the oud it's just a really floral and pretty like fragrance oil with um, that smoky contradiction to it I guess um, which just makes it also smell very premium. I have launched a new collection and it's the meditation collection and basically the theme of the meditation collection is like having different candles for different types of meditation so this is my self-love candle. Um, I forgot to mention the Blackberry and Bay is um, also for the meditation collection and that's my dispel candle but basically for velvet peony and oud I felt like this was the perfect scent for a self-love candle and something that like when you're meditating and like trying to be all zen and stuff it's like super complimentary with it. The next one I have is Paradise Beach and this is my second bottle of this. Um, it's done really well because it is in my Pisces candle and at the moment we're in like Pisces season so I found that I was selling quite a lot of the Pisces candle in the last month. I, by the way I have been experimenting with Facebook ads which has been really good for me so it meant that I have had a lot of purchases for Pisces and I assume it's for gifting for birthdays because it's this time of year but this is a lovely beachy kind of scent. I kind of like it's a bit of a weird one because I sometimes like like it and then sometimes I don't like this is one of the scents I would say is more of a bestseller than something that I personally prefer but you know when it comes down to candle making sometimes you have to just go with what your customers want rather than like your personal preference because you're not going to like every single thing but if they love it then you know give them what they want um but this is like really lovely and coconutty I feel like there's white florals in it again like with everything I'm just going to put up the fragrance notes because I can't remember them off the top of my head but this is a really nice one if you want something that isn't too overpowering and you know a lot of people complain of like sometimes having too strong a scent because people suffer from migraines and that kind of thing I would definitely say this is a good one for people who um who want a strong candle so it fills up the room but isn't something that is very like sicky and makes you like have migraines my next one is jasmine and frankincense this is like well, I think also another one of my absolute favourites. I tend to like quite smoky fragrances and intense ones, um, more so than like florals and sweet scents. Um, so jasmine and frankincense is just absolutely beautiful. And it is so, like, it's really strong, like, from the bottle, but I feel like it kind of mellows down in a candle. This is the scent I use in my Scorpio candle, but again, like, people can select whatever scent they want for a, a specific zodiac sign. And this is one that has done really well for me. Um, I think I'm kind of halfway or maybe a third through the bottle. It's kind of similar to Velvet Peony and Oud in the sense that it's, like, got that intense smokiness to it. I would definitely recommend this though for like more of the cooler months because it is that kind of warm cozy kind of scent rather than something that is fresh and like uplifting. The next one I have is Black Fig and Vetiver and this is something that I'm in love with at the moment. Also I would say it's the most universal fragrance because I have found that most people will select this if they have the option to select their fragrance. I've sold loads of these and it has a lovely grassy scent to it. It's very grassy in the canister, but when it's actually burning, it has more of a beautiful, like, it feels like there's vanilla in there. It's kind of like fresh, but like soft and like really creamy is like the best way I can describe it when it's burning. I would highly recommend this if you were to, I think if you were to get any of the ones that I've mentioned so far, I'd probably go for this one as a, like a universal, everybody will like it kind of scent. My final oil is basically the anomaly from In The Bunch and this is from Cozy Owl and it's not looking particularly great because I've spilt um, fragrance all over the label so it's not looking the best. Um, I think this is a 500ml um, bottle um, and I've used a fair chunk of it but this is basically cinnamon and vanilla and I have a mindful moments collection which is all about like seasonal kind of scents. For the most part my main collection kind of scents are I try to be very like um, universal you can buy at any time of year and it will be like a good thing to have um, whereas my mindful moments collection are very like I've tried to make it very like seasonal so I can play around with like you know pumpkin spice and all the fun fragrances that are, like I don't get to use in like a in the zodiac collection or the meditation collection because it just doesn't go it's just the best it smells so strong and 
even like it's got an amazing cold throw and an amazing hot throw. I can't fault this at all. Um, it's definitely worth a try if you are looking for those kind of like very cozy scents. Um, I wouldn't be able to burn this in the summer at all because it's just like extremely cinnamony and vanilla-y. Although I wouldn't say it's very like sweet. It doesn't have that sickly sweet scent to it. Um, I bought one, I think I actually mentioned it in a few, uh, in a haul video where I bought the butterscotch um, candle from Craftivator and that was like completely sicky sweet kind of thing which is not my cup of tea, maybe for other people but it just wasn't my thing. And basically that scent from Craftivator which was butterscotch chai was what I was planning to use but instead um, I opted for this one because it is just perfect. I would totally recommend it if you are going for cozy scents and your branding is all about like you know being cuddly and like home comforts and that kind of thing so yeah I would go for this as well. So basically those were my top seven scents so I hope this helped you with your buying. I have had quite a few DMs and comments on my videos about what scents I would recommend so I hope this helps and gives you a good direction of where to go with your purchasing. Um, if you do try any of these fragrances I'd love to know if you agreed with my thoughts or not um, and also what are your fragrances? I feel like that's the best bit like is there a bestseller of yours that you would totally recommend to other people? It would be amazing to know. So if you could pop in the comment section below what your favorite fragrance is and where it's from it would be so amazing to share this information that's it from me until next time i will see you in my next video bye